Hey everyone, it's Tristan from Crafting Worlds, and today we're bringing you another keyboard review, and also a mouse to go with it. Uh, Mechlands was actually kind enough to send over the Vibe 75, their new mechanical keyboard with a screen, and they were like, hey, do you want to see a mouse that has a charging station that has a screen that could go with it? And I was like, yeah, why not? So we're going to take a look at this mouse, and we're going to take a look at this keyboard and uh yeah why don't we just jump right in okay so here's the vibe 75 it's actually quite nice looking i think you guys are gonna like i think you're gonna like the vibe <laughs> the vibe 70 get it all right well, it was funny to me all right so uh, the first thing that of note is that they didn't do the plastic stuff, which is great. I don't know if this is recyclable stuff, but if it is, good for them. If not, well, we're getting there slowly. Uh, it comes with a USB-C connector that is braided, comes with a keycap puller, and it comes with an instruction manual. There are no extra switches or anything extra, really. This is just pretty bare bones uh, in here, so that's something to note. I, I wish there was extra switches. I, I, as you know, like when there are extra switches because, as I always say, switches break. So, here is the keyboard itself, and uh, I gotta say, it's quite, it's quite good looking. It's got an aluminum wrap that goes around uh, two-thirds of the board, not in the front for some reason. I don't know why they didn't continue it all the way through. It would have been cool if it had, like, a fully wrapped... Um, but yeah, it's a nice little color accent. As you can see here, you've got your Windows and Mac. It doesn't come with extra switches, so you're going to, out of the box, get the Windows mode. It has 2.4 gigahertz, it has Bluetooth, and it has just USB. Now, you're probably wondering, where is the dongle? It is underneath the feeties, but in a way where it's not going to fall out. So, it's magne magne magnetized inside here. And then you pull it out like, oh, like so. It's actually hard to get out, which is good. So there it is. Cool little way to do that. I like that. Uh, let's do the feet test while we have it here. Will it fall? Nope. Okay. Let's try the secondary feet. All right. These, I can already tell, are not going to fall. Hey, look at that. So they are on a steep enough angle. Wow. I, because I, they didn't feel like they locked, but they actually do. Um, they're a little... <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little, uh, little janky. You can see that. The, uh, the plastic is not really... The glue to hold it together is not really there. Um, this one's fine. But yeah, this one is... I feel like if you are doing this a lot, then it's going to fall off. But... You know, hopefully you're not doing that a lot. Then, as you can see, it has the aluminum back plate with the Vibe 75 logo on it. It's got some rubber feeties here so that if you're gaming or playing something, it will not slide all over your desk. Oh, I actually really like the sound of this board, and we'll get to that soon. All of the modifiers sound really, really, really balanced. Everything, even the up and down arrows, which is, that's usually not it. And then here's the screen, which has a little bit of thing on it. And let's get that off. Oh, pow. Yeah, so look at that. It's got a little screen. And it's just really nice looking. I think this is a, this is a nice looking keyboard. The color scheme is, is really, really nice. So uh, let's take a look at the mouse real quick, because we're not going to spend too much time on the mouse, because, you know, I, I don't really do my, mice too much on this channel. Plus, this is just an affordable mouse. So here it is, the AJAZ uh, 159A series. A I think it's the AJAZ AJ159 series. And so you have your, this is actually pretty cool. This is your little dock here, and it'll show you what polling rate you're using, which is really neat. So you just go ahead and plug it into the USB. And it is on 2.4 gigahertz. And then it, you take out the mouse, you flip that onto 2 gigahertz, and now we are connected. Yeah, so overall, I mean, it's nice. It goes 
It goes over here. It's got RGB on it. It's nothing crazy, uh, but that you can then charge your mouse like that. Look at that. See? Charges right up. I think that's nice. I, I used it a little bit. Uh, it's got nice tactility. So it's 56 grams, which is really light. It has a nice ergonomic shape and the clicks are quite nice. Let's take a look at the stats just because I know a lot of people are going to wonder. So it's got a 400 milliamp battery, low power consumption. It lasted me about a week before I needed to charge it. Uh, but you just put it on this charging base and that makes it really easy. It's got triple mode of connectivity, high polling rate, re eight. They need to, that's a typo. <laughs> And then 100 mill million click microseconds. That's what is the what is the polling rate on this thing? I don't even know because I, honestly, I, I usually am just a thousand. So it does offer 8,000 polling rate in wireless mode. So it, it kind of it, it adjusts between one and a thousand. Um, and it, it I don't know, it, it worked fine with me. My FPSs I shot fine. I everything felt good. Um, it's got good reviews. Honestly, it's a great price for what you're getting with the charger and the mouse itself. And yeah, I mean, this is not really, it's not anything I'm going to call home about, but it's clicky. It sounds good. It slides nice. The feet and the pads feel good, even on my felt thing here on my felt desk pad. And uh, yeah, it just, uh, it just works. So I like things that just work. If you like screens on things and RGB on things, then uh, this on your desk will look really nice with, say, a keyboard like this that has a screen. Comes with a really nice braided cable. Bravo to them for not really holding back on this. Oh yeah, so it also comes with like stickers for the mouse, so you can put these on there for grip. Uh, it also comes with an extra pair of feet. I mean, they really gave you a lot for the price. So mice these days, like for instance, this guy is way overpriced is there's just hands down it's overpriced um so now that mice from these manufacturers in china are getting better and cheaper uh, looking into these is not a bad idea so i i would have no problem recommending this mouse um i personally like one of mine is uh this one the m choose so i really am a big fan of this one because of it's it's 39 grams this one is 58 grams and i had no problem with that but I do like a lighter mouse, which is the exact weight of this one. But they also have some other mice that are even cheaper, like $39 range and stuff like that. So you might want to look into those if you're looking for a budget mouse with like a high polling rate and stuff like that. This one is more because it has the dock for charging. And I do like the dock for charging because it, it just helps to make it so you don't have to like, oh, did I remember to charge or no? And yeah, I'm telling you, the quality of these things is getting better and better, especially with the skates and the clicking and just everything for much less money. So that's great. But let's talk about the keyboard more. Okay, so let's plug this bad boy in. All right. So as you can see, we've got very bright LEDs and very nice RGBs. First of all, let's take a look at the, the price. So it's $79.99, but if you go to Amazon, $71.99. The mouse, by the way, is $68.99 on their website, but it's $59.99 on Amazon. So again, always, always check Amazon. Always check Amazon. And like this one is $42.99. So yeah, depending on which one you get, it could be less. So this is the pro, like there's different versions. This is the pro with 8K and this is the Apex, which I have. So yeah, just make sure to get the best, the best price that you can get. Um, but yeah, here's what we got. We got hot swappable PCB, triple connectivity. Yep. So we've got Bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz and wired gasket mounting structure, which is just crazy. This is all included now in these pre-built. Um, only one switch. And then you have it also in these two colors. So if you like that blue color, like that hippie color, then that's for you. But I personally like this. And then it's got the little screen and it's got the 75% layout. And it's got a satisfying typing feedback, which actually it does. And we'll get to that in a little bit. And it's got a flex cut plate and finely tuned stabilizers. Yeah, it actually has some pretty good flex to it. Let me show you. 
So yeah, I mean, it's it's really nice. the The typing experience on this is fantastic, actually. And then we have the beautiful Cherry Profile Double Shot PDBT keycaps. I don't know. It's a everybody likes to say a lot of words. It it all to me matters on how it all comes together. And this one pretty much comes together very well. So it's got south facing RGB. It's got pretty much everything everyone wants in a pre built or custom mechanical keyboard. Yeah, except uh, except for the one thing that they just fall short on every time, and it's their software. I don't know what is wrong with these companies using these softwares. It, they look terrible. Their software is n hard to understand what the hell you're looking at. I, I just don't like their software. We're not going to spend a lot of time in here. I'm literally just going to show you. Look, the the RGB is, is insane. You do have per key RGB, which is great. You have these weird lighting modes. So you have lighting modes, right? These are presets. But then you have another one that's called user lighting, which is per key. And then you have another one that's real-time lighting, which I still don't understand what, what this is. I cannot figure this out for the life of me, what this, I, I really can't. So, yeah. And then you've got music rhythm lighting. I, if you want LEDs for days, this software has it, but, like, that's not the main thing people want. Um, anyway, you can do your factory resets, and you can upgrade your keyboard from in here, too. But yeah, I think the people, what most people will download this for is, oh, and look at that, it crashed. And this is another reason why I really don't like these. Ah, it's just bad. It's just bad software. The fact that that crashed while I was doing this is such a fantastic explanation as to why this is terrible. Anyway, so I think you would do this mostly for so you can, you know, change your little LED screen and, and have your fun little animated GIFs. I like that they made their own. But yeah, is it all worth it for the screen? Is it all a complete package? And to be honest, oh, and the software just crashed again. All right, Me Mechlands. Oh my gosh. Hey, Mechlands, uh, your software is shit and it needs to be updated like immediately. Immediately. So, because you have a good keyboard here. I actually am a big fan of this keyboard. Um, and I'm about to, uh, we're about to do a sound test. But Mechlands, your software sucks. It crashes, it lags, it is not intuitive. It does what it needs to do if you can get it to stay open. But come on, like, anybody? Upload the keyboard, maybe? Oh, wow. That is really slow. Oh, my. That was great out last time we came in here. Okay, so there's new import. Okay, never mind. I understand it now. Took uh, wow, all these things were grayed out the last time we looked at it. That was so weird. But let's hope it doesn't crash while it's uploading this, and it's it shows on the on the keyboard itself the percentage. Wow, that is um that is really slow. Oh. Why? And I can't even cancel it. Oh, we're just stuck here. We're stuck here. We're going to do a nice sound test while this is loading. Sound wise, this thing, it's, it's badass. <laughs> Actually, the switches, the foam inside, it just sounds and feels wonderful to type on. This feels amazing to type on. And why do we buy a keyboard? To type on. 
God, even for gaming, the WASD on this thing, it just feels good. The space bar sounds good. The modifiers sound good. So they nailed it. They killed it. They knocked it out of the park on this one for everything that has to do with the sound and the typing feel. I think they nailed the aesthetics on this. I think it looks really, really cool. I love the way that it has all the different accent lines. I like how they mixed plastic with aluminum. So it is plastic on the bottom, it's got plastic feet, but it's got the nice aluminum here and it's got a nice aluminum weight on the back. And I find that the keycaps feel really nice. It's a, they're good cherry keycaps. So overall, they did a really good job here. They included the things that are important. They did forget to give you more things such as, um, you know, extra keys for your Mac users. Uh, they do not give you extra switches in case yours break. So there are some things missing. And then, okay, I, by the way, this, the whole, this whole time, sound tests, all that, we were still loading that damn software. So let's take a look now. Ah, so there's our animation, which is much slower on the screen for some reason than in the software. Does it have to go once and then it'll, it'll go faster? No, it is just really slow. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. So if you watch this preview, look what it looks like in here. It's like, Ooh, it looks amazing. And then on the screen itself, <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's like i can't do it all right look if they can get it so that the software doesn't suck and that you can get and transfer your gifts faster then the screen is worth it you, i like screens on the keyboard i think they're fun so if you like that too that's great but just know that it's playing at a different speed it doesn't work well with the software the software crashes half the time it took me 10 minutes to get that little animation to the damn screen itself. So you've got a keyboard here that looks really nice. It has wired wireless and Bluetooth. It's got windows and Mac. It's got a wonderful, wonderful sound profile and feel, but it's got crappy software. It's got a screen that is like, I can't tell if it's working or not. It's about 70 to $79. So they got some kinks to work out on this one. If you don't want to put an animated GIF on this screen, you want it to just show you like the battery and the time and all the normal stuff that it comes with stock. You like the sound profile, you like the switches and you like the way that it looks. Then this is actually a really fantastic keyboard uh, for the price. But do not expect them to update the software. Uh, it, it, it's very hard to buy a keyboard based on what may happen. They could, they could update the software for all I know. But uh, I think sometimes these companies tend to put out new keyboards um, and just kind of throw away the old ones that didn't quite work with what they were doing. So yeah. If you don't mind that there is a possibility that you may or may not get firmware to upgrade this screen to work with GIFs and you like the stock everything of this, then it's a good keyboard. If you really want that screen to be your GIFs and your animated things and, your, and the software to work perfectly, you may wanna wait. Um, as for the mouse, I think the mouse is great. I think Ajax has some really good mice and just different options out there, so, this is kind of in the family of affordable mice. So I would just say pick, go out there, try a couple of them. They're cheap enough. Find the one that you like. If you're, you know, if you don't want to spend 150, you know, $200 for a damn mouse from uh, some of the other companies. And uh, yeah, I don't think you could go wrong. It felt good in gaming and it, I like the little charger dock and that's fantastic. So yeah. Anyway, if you liked the video, let me know with a like. And if you hated it, dislike twice and subscribe, hit the little bell icon for notifications. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.